No! <laughs> What's up, champions? Welcome back to Jet Surfing Nation, your place where we test and review all available jet boards in EFO. And sometimes little cool toys like skateboards and drones. But today we have something really cool and unusual. It's the first underwater drone from Power Vision called Power, Power Ray. Ray. <laughs> if you remember last season we tested a lot of Power Vision products such as the Power Rack, it's the first waterproof drone. We put it to a lot of tests and challenges and it survived just fine. If you missed our video, I'll put links in the description below. And of course we tested the Wave Shark e-fall and jet board. It's also made by Power Vision. It's a really cool upcoming jet board, so make sure you check them out. But today we have another product from Power Vision. This underwater drone will allow you to film all your adventures. You can check out the shipwrecks, you can even check the fish, and they have special adapters called Fish Finder, which will help you find and catch more fish. Wow! So, I've never Let's tried try any underwater drones before. So, super excited to see what's inside. Let's do it! Let's do it! So, we have the box, it's 11 kilos, it's pretty heavy. But manageable. So let's open it. And we have <laughs> this suitcase. <laughs> oh, that's unusual. Look at that. <laughs> that's really a suitcase for traveling. Oh. Okay, let's go to the airport. <laughs> With some security mm, numbers. Security codes. And the key. Okay. What's the secret code? 777 seven, seven. Zero, zero, zero. No, it's not. Actually, I cannot open it. It's locked, guys! Look at this! We need to have some special code to Come open on. it. Come on. Zero, zero, zero. But it's still locked. Oh, man. Come on! Maybe 666. Six, six. Oh. Yay! We did it. Whew. So we just need to move this yeah. button. That was hard. Now let's open it. Ta -da! Wow! Look at that! It's too complicated! <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Let's see. That is the main part. Hmm, it looks like a space shuttle. <laughs> Does it fly? <laughs> it's really cool. It's a powerful underwater drone. It has also lights, so you can lighten up underwater you can mm -hmm. go under the waves you can see the rocks the fish yeah two propellers no three mm -hmm. one more here and you can go up to 98 feet deep we got this device it looks like a power bank it's a base station some little screws little tools here we got the instructions manual okay some little clips i have no idea what's that for <laughs> oh the glasses Wow! These are FPV goggles. You can put them on and you can go dive underwater without getting wet. That's the best part. This is the main cable. Like I said, it can go up to 98 feet underwater. So here we got the charger, the main remote control, and the best part, the fish finder. It's a bow! Yeah. <sighs> it's autonomous and you can use it like a fish radar to see all the fish around you. Really cool, if you're a fisherman. Hmm? So, it looks like everything we got here. Let's charge everything and see how it works underwater. Let's do it! Let's do it! Here we go. Before we jump right in the ocean, it's good to test everything here in the pool. I just watched all the video tutorials and I hope I'm ready to give it a go. First of all, we are going to install our phone in the remote control. Screw this little screw over here. You can also attach your iPad if you want, just by removing this holder. We're putting the phone right here. And on your phone, you need to install Vision Plus app. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Now our remote control is ready to go. Let's power it on. And 
the green light indicates that it's fully charged. Here we got our main power station. This is going to send the Wi-Fi signal from the main unit to your remote control and the app. This is not waterproof, guys, so make sure it doesn't fall into the water. You can untie this little belt over here and then you can put it on your hand or somewhere else. Just make sure it doesn't fall in the water. Next, we got our spool with a tether and the main power ray unit. Before I drop it to the water, let me quickly show you some cool features that I didn't mention during the unboxing. First of all, it's bait drop. There is a tiny magnet over here that was provided that you can put in the front of the unit and then it's attached using the electromagnet over here. Then you can attach your fish bait and when you want to release it, you press the bait release button. Another cool feature is the fish finder. This sonar will help you find the fish, see the ocean floor and even uh, measure the temperature of the water. You simply attach it over here and you see it's blinking, it's ready to go. We have several motors on this unit. This motor will help you go up and down. Then two thrusters over here will help you move forward and turn. And here we are going to attach our tether. Finally, here in front, we have our 4K camera and two LED lights that will help you illuminate the bottom of the ocean. Very cool stuff. And I need to say, guys, the quality is really amazing. I have been testing a lot of drones, DJI products, but this is for sure one of the highest quality packaging and production I've ever seen. Hands off. Well done, guys. Now I'm going to attach everything real quick. First of all, let's take our tether, unscrew the cap, make sure water doesn't get to the contacts. It's really important. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's singing. It's ready to go to the water. You can see the lights blinking. Here, remote control is connecting. Now don't forget about your main power vision base, which you connect to the other side of the tether. Let's screw it real tight. And remember, don't let it drop to the water. So it would be nice if we attach to something really sturdy, maybe this side of the pool stairs, over here, just to make sure we don't lose it in the water. It has to be around a few meters away from you, so you don't lose the signal. Let's power it on. Okay, green lights indicate it's ready to go. And it's kind of messy. I'm not much of a fisherman. Dealing with this pool and tether gets me really confused. So let's unravel everything because it's new. It's really tight and I need this side of the tether. So probably I will untie everything. Whew. Let's speed this up. One eternity later. I wish there was some sort of automation for this. Because I cannot imagine doing this near the ocean with the rocks. Everything will get stuck. So some kind of mechanism to automatically pull it back would be really helpful. On our power vision up, we are going to click start sailing. And then you can see camera is already working. So we are ready to drop it straight in the water. <sighs> the moment of truth, try not to drop your controller. Okay, here we are. You need to understand that this device needs to be filled with water and enabled to get the zero buoyancy. Now it's ready to go and I can push the throttles to try to go forward and down to dive forward. <laughs> and we're diving. <laughs> so there is an altitude or depth control button over here so it can maintain the certain depth so you don't need to hold it. See now I'm not doing anything but it's maintaining its depth pretty well.
There are also three different speeds that you can switch here on the remote control or in the app. Oh no, my fish thingy fell off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. We can also switch to the fish finder and see the depth, the temperature, sensitivity, and hopefully some fish. Finally, we can try the VR mode. We can put our phone here and then slide it in in the VR glasses. Like this. And put it on. And now I can control it like a TV job. Let's see what fish we got. Oh, I need to unlock it. Here we go, the test went fine. Now I just need a little more practice and we are ready to go to the ocean. Here we are in the real ocean, it's time to put power ray to the real test. So, this is Tose, uh, he's a professional diver, okay, he, um, he operates rovs and scooters and everything that can uh, go underwater. Uh, Shiran, uh, she's a professional diver too, um, professional instructor. What uh, kind of wreck do we have here? Uh, in fact, it's uh, a wreck that used to when they construct the jetty and they leave this on the water so it's around 10 12 meters all right i hope our tether is long enough to do it <laughs> so let's put power ray to some real test okay Are you ready guys yeah let's go to let's the water yeah, yeah. <laughs> not me <laughs> not me one two three go <laughs> good luck yes. We just saw your legs. <laughs> You're good? Pedro. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> All right, we just completed our ocean test and to be honest it went kind of rough. We're recording now in winter, it's cold, it's stormy, very windy and a lot of waves on the surface. That's why those waves are pulling the tether up and down, making it really hard to stabilize the drone. Which leads me to the first suggestion is to add more thrusters. I've seen other competitor drones have four and sometimes even six thrusters making it easier to stabilize under the water. Another suggestion would be to add auto reel to make it easier to control the tether and pull it back. Finally, I would love to see a new simplified version without the need of the base station, without the need to use the phone. Because to be honest, I don't want to deal with my phone anywhere near the salty water. I don't want to be worried about water getting on the remote control on the base station. And I think it can be all pretty much simplified by making a waterproof remote control 
with a little screen and then connecting it straight to the ROV with the tether. This way we can eliminate the need for the base station, for the remote control and make the whole system much easier and user friendly. And then we can take this ROV with us on the stand-up paddle board, we can explore much more, we don't need a boat anymore. It will give much more freedom of use. And what I really like is the quality of the product. Like I said, the production, the packaging, the molds, looks like everything is done on the highest standard possible, which is really cool. All in all, this looks like a fun product with a lot of use cases. You can explore the floor of the ocean, see the fish, hidden caves, or maybe even do professional inspections or look for treasure. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our quick review. Let me know in the comments below if you tried underwater drones or ROVs yourself. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.